What is up future millionaires? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about how you are about to make next year your best year ever, okay? Every single year, I want you guys to be leveling up. I want you to be making your income higher, your confidence higher, your self-esteem higher, your rent higher, girl, all the things. Everything is going up. Somebody comment level up in the chat. Comment that down below. So that's what we're going to go over is how you can make next year your best year. All right? Grab your notebook, grab a pen, and let's get into these gems. Ellie talks money to create the better days. Business, money, life, the Ellie way. Welcome back into the video. Let's talk about how you are going to level up next year. All right? First thing, key to leveling up. And let me give you guys some context. So I've really leveled up my life in the last two years and I did mine by starting my business. You guys might know my story a little bit, but I started my business in July of 2020. A few months after finalizing my divorce, I am a mother of four. And at the time my twins were about a year old when I started the business when I divorced they were like eight months right so a lot of things and at the time I was you know staying with my mom I had to move back home I was unemployed like just all the things you can imagine I was dealing with it at that time and when I started my business I literally made my first seven figures in ten months and life has been different ever since and along the way I've learned a lot about myself about changing my life how to change other people's lives you know what key things really go into leveling up overall so what i want to share with you is the first thing you should do is establish a mindset routine now when i say routine many people think i'm talking about getting up early exercising yada 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 but I mean a mindset routine, which is specifically a routine that is going to cultivate a strong sense of self and a strong mindset within you. The reason why this is so important is because without the right mindset, nothing else can exist. Without the right mindset, your money cannot elevate, your confidence cannot elevate, your circles that you're in cannot elevate. So one of the key things you want to do with your mindset routine is number one, getting up early and spending the first 30 minutes of your day in prayer and as well in gratitude is really important. So whatever your religious beliefs are, you are welcome to have them, but using that first 30 minutes to reflect and then to write down what you're grateful for is important. I am Muslim, so the first thing I do when I wake up is pray. It's, you know, a part of my religion. We also pray five times a day in Islam. And the first prayer is early in the morning before sunrise. So sometimes you may not always be able to get up before sunset, but definitely getting up a little earlier than you do now to create that time for yourself. Praying and writing in the gratitude journal is key because you know what? A lot of the time we often think about all the things we don't have, but focusing on the things you do have makes a huge difference in how you see your life, which thus creates a stronger mindset. Next thing that you want to do is begin to write down your affirmations. Say things kind to yourself. Speak life over yourself. Speak life over your business. And as well, make it a habit to use that time to also write out your to-do list and your goals for the day. So when you're writing out the things you want to accomplish and the goals you have, when you're in a state of mind that you've just said positive things to yourself, you believe that you can accomplish those things on your list. And that's the type of state you want to be in when you go to start your day, is that you know who you are, you believe you can do it, you've spoken kind things over your life, over your business, over yourself, and then you go forward. So that would be a key part of that mindset routine. And essentially, this is the first hour, maybe hour and a half of your day. Now from here, I do agree it's good to get in a good exercise. I work out about 6.30 a.m. Um, three times a week, and then the other days I work out at night. So find what works for you, but definitely having that space to just get yourself going and sticking to it. The thing about a routine is don't just do it for two days and then you out. Stick with it, right? It takes about 21 days to form a habit. So aim to do this consistently for 21 days and then it will be like second nature to you. It will come easily. 
The next thing that I want you to focus on in order to level up and make next year your best year is to expand your network. I'm challenging you to go to networking events and meet people that you have never met before. Print out some business cards, introduce yourself, go in there with the intention of making new connections. A huge part of leveling up your life and leveling up your opportunity is changing your circle. It doesn't mean that the friends you have now you can no longer be friends with, but what it does mean is that in order for you to see new elements of life and recognize new opportunities, you have to be around new people. You are a reflection of the five people you spend the most time with and that you talk to the most. So look at the income of the five people you hang out with the most. Typically, you're going to achieve the same or similar income to them. If you want to level up your income and level up your opportunities and level up your circle, you got to change the people that you spend the most time with. And you got to change the people that you talk to about your ideas because someone who has never made a million dollars will have different feedback for you than someone who makes a million dollars every month, right? They're going to give you the type of feedback and encouragement that will encourage you to go for it. Whereas someone who maybe has never run a business or gotten to the level you aspire to may not really know what to say. And it doesn't mean you love them any less but you have to be discerning and know who is going to help you get to where you need to go and you will find those people that are going to help you get there. So go on Eventbrite, look up networking events, go there on the weekend, introduce yourself, be open, create communications, aim to leave with at least three new contacts for every event you go to. And if you repeat this for a couple weekends, that's six, nine, 12 new people that you can start building a relationship with as you go into your next year. I love that for you. And you can also do this really easily on Facebook by joining Facebook groups. Maybe you're not in a situation or in a location where there's a lot of things happening on Eventbrite, but you can also join these groups online, which is accessible anywhere, and make genuine connections. Reach out to people, ask questions, offer your own value in whatever way that they might need, and a lot can happen from you going and setting the intention to meet new people. The third thing I would definitely say to help you level up for next year is to go ahead and start that business. And let me tell you something, even if you just form the LLC and open the business bank account and start building business credit, that's a great start. What I want you to do is make it exist. Start to condition your mind and see yourself as not only an employee, but also an owner. I'm not telling you to go quit your job, right? Because we need our jobs, especially if that's your main source of income. But start to show yourself that you are ready to be an owner. You are ready to run this business. You are ready to do something outside of your job. Form that LLC. Now you know you have it. Now you're building business credit. Now you've opened your business bank account. And start to take steps towards developing your product, developing your service, developing your idea. When you, you know, put yourself in the situation and, and give yourself a different title and see yourself in a different way, you'd be surprised how you step up to that new title. Because what happens is your subconscious mind recognizes that you are changing and looking to develop a new identity. And so it starts aligning for those changes to happen. These are some of my top three tips that I would give you guys. Now I have more because I've learned a ton over these last two and a half years in business. But as we are all preparing to go into this next year, these are even some things I'm going to do for myself. I've met a ton of new people and you know, I love my circle, but I still have new goals. I want to get in new rooms. I want to meet new people. I want to even get better at my morning mindset routine. I want to form new businesses. I want to own more. So you're always expanding but these are three key areas that are really going to help you level up for the next year. So comment below which of these is most relevant to you, which do you think you are maybe even a little nervous to do, and which of these do you feel like you know is going to make the biggest difference, all right? I will make sure to link my other level up video here so you can watch that too, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!